Hello everyone. In the last class or in my earlier lecture, we discussed about the different types of water surface profiles. If you recall, we discussed about mild slope, we discussed about steep slope, critical slope, uh, horizontal slope and adverse slope. We also discussed about how to uh, you know, draw the value of uh, Yn and Yc and uh, the different zones, zone 1, zone 2, zone 3 and with respect to that, we classified the uh, type of profiles into about 13 types. That is what we discussed in the earlier lecture. Let us go further. So, in this class, we are going to talk about an equation uh, to find the surface water slope with respect to horizontal. So, next question. So, why do we need this? Sometimes in the problems, they will ask you to find the surface water profile with respect to the horizontal rather than the bed slope. Now, what we discussed till now is with respect to the surface water slope uh, profile with respect to the bed slope. Kindly recall, we started with the bed slopes. Then, so I told you that the water surface slope uh, profile depends on the bed slope. Based on that, based on that only, we studied about uh, the different slopes like M1, M2, M3, uh, S1, S2, S3. Uh, then C1, C3 and so on so forth. Now, let us derive an equation for this slope of water surface with respect to horizontal. So, to do, to do, to do that, so consider a small length dx. So, please refer to this figure of the open channel. Okay. So, in an open channel, I consider two sections. So, this is section 11. I call this as 11 and uh, this is uh, 2, 2. Now, this is a bed slope. That bed slope is represented as S0. Now, what is our, our aim? Our aim is to uh, get an equation for the slope of water surface with respect to horizontal. Now, most of the time, this value of this water surface with respect to horizontal is different from the water surface profile with respect to this bed slope. Now, in this case, Line A, B, this yellow line, so this represents the water, water surface slope. Let me repeat, this A, B represents the water surface profile. Then this A, D, A, D is a line which is drawn parallel to the bed slope. That is what I mentioned here, line A, D is drawn parallel to the bottom uh, slope of S0 with the horizontal. Then this line AC is a horizontal line. Line AC is horizontal. Now with this, let us represent this angle made by this water surface profile with respect to horizontal that as pi and the angle made by this uh, bed slope with respect to horizontal that we call it as theta. Okay. So, please refer to this figure, the angle made by water surface with respect to horizontal that I represented as pi and the angle made by the bed slope with respect to horizontal that I represent this as theta. Now, with this, let us proceed. Now, the water surface slope, right now I am talking, let us start with the water surface slope with respect to horizontal. So, this SW is given by, please refer to this triangle that is uh, B A C from the triangle B A C R C A B. Okay. So sin pi is equal to B C divided by A B. That's what I wrote here. So sin pi is equal to B C divided by A B. But please refer to this figure. What is B C? B C can be written as so C D minus B D. Okay, so it is that entire length minus this length. So this is CD minus BD. So BC by AB can be written as CD minus BD divided by AB. So this can also be written as CD minus AB minus BD divided by AB. Okay, so this is 
the water surface slope okay then let so right now we discussed about the angle uh, or the triangle of this water surface slope with respect to the horizontal now let us talk about the bed slope with respect to horizontal so that is theta so the way we derived this equation in a similar fashion we derived an equation for this sin sin theta let us see what we are going to get so let theta the angle which the bottom makes with the horizontal that is represented as s of h s of h is equal to sin theta sin theta is equal to cd divided by ad so look at this right now i am talking about triangle cad from that triangle cad sin theta is equal to cd divided by ad okay so look at this sin theta is equal to cd divided by ad now if the bed slope is very small i repeat if the bed slope is very small sin theta can be written as cd divided by ab okay so in the bracket you need to you need to write assuming that the bed slope is very small okay now the slope of the water surface with respect to the channel bottom is given by okay now we'll go back to this this one the slope of the water surface with respect to channel bottom is given by that is given by dy by dx the one which we studied in the earlier uh, class class so this dy by dx is equal to bd by ad so what is bd what is ad so this is this is bd by ad right now i am talking about the slope of the water surface with respect to this line okay this blue line that is given by so this is bd divided by ad that is what i wrote here now can we go back to this earlier slide here this sw is equal to cd by ab minus bd by ab now you have a value for this cd by ab and a bd by ab now replace this cd by ab by uh, the value and bd by ab by some other value let us see what we are going to get now that is what i mentioned here sw is equal to cd by ab minus bd by ab what is look at this sin i mean s of h is equal to sin theta is equal to cd by ab now i am going to replace this cd by ab by sh what is sh this is the uh, you know uh, water surface slope with respect to horizontal sh is the water surface slope with respect to horizontal now what is bd by ab uh, bd by ab is nothing but dy by dx so in place of cd by ab you substitute this s of h and in place of bd by ab you substitute this dy by dx therefore this equation takes up the form s of w is equal to s of h minus dy by dx okay now this equation can be used to calculate the water surface slope with respect to horizontal okay now the standard form of this equation is dy by dx is equal to sh minus sw sometimes they will ask you to find the value of sh for that we make use of this formula okay this is a very simple der simple derivation and easy to remember this is about water surface slope with respect to horizontal let us solve couple of simple problems so kind of recall when we were discussing about uniform flow there at the end of this uh, topic uniform flow or module 2 uh, i mentioned about a problem which i said i am going to solve it once again uh, in when i when i when i when i am talking about module Three. The same problem which we discussed there also. Now, this pro the problem goes like this: a rectangular channel, seven point five meter wide, has a uniform depth of flow of two meter, and has a bed slope of one in three thousand. If 
due to a wave constructed at the downstream end of the channel, water surface at a section is raised by 0.75 meter. Determine the water surface slope with respect to horizontal. At this section, assuming Manning's roughness coefficient as 0.02. Let us read the problem once again. A rectangular channel 7.5 meter wide has a uniform depth of flow of y n is equal to 2 meter and has a bed slope of 1 in 3000. If due to a wear or an obstruction constructed at the downstream end of the channel, water surface at a section is raised by 0.75 meter. Initial depth was 2 meter. Now due to this obstruction, the water raised by uh, 0.75. Therefore, at the obstruction, the depth of water is 2 plus 0.75, that is 2.75 meter. Now, between this 2 meter and 2.75 meter, so we need to uh, calculate or determine the water surface slope with respect to horizontal. Now, Manning's roughness coefficient is given in the problem. That is, n is equal to 0 0.02. Now, how to solve this problem? So, here, so this is the normal depth where y, y is equal to y n is equal to 2 meter and this is the obstruction. At this obstruction, so the height of the water is 2.75. So, 2.75 minus 2, that is, this afflux is 0 0.75 meter. Now, this is the case of GVF and we need to find the water surface flow with respect to the horizontal. Let us see how to solve this problem. Now, since Manning's roughness coefficient is given in the problem, let us start with the Manning's equation. What is Manning's equation for velocity? So, V is equal to 1 over n s to the power of half r to the power of 2 thirds. Now, the discharge equation is, is given by Q is equal to A into V. Therefore, in place of V, if I substitute Manning's formula, then Q is equal to A divided by N into S rise to half or rise to two thirds. What is S? What is R? S is a bed slope. R is a hydraulic mean radius. Now, consider a section far away from the obstruction where the depth of flow is y is equal to yn, yn is equal to 2 meter, okay, we have two sections. So, one section 1, 1 where the depth of flow is 2 meter and another section where the depth of flow is 2 plus 0.75, that is 2.75 meter. First, let us consider a section at section 1, 1, okay. There, find the wetted area. Wetted area is equal to a1 is equal to B into Y N. So, B is 7.5, the y, width of the rectangular channel into the normal depth is 2 meter. Therefore, weighted area at section 1 1 is given by 15 meter square. Similarly, find the weighted perimeter. What is weighted perimeter? Weighted perimeter is equal to P1 is equal to B plus 2 Y1. So, what is B? B is 7.5 meter given in the problem and Yn is 2. Therefore, 7.5 plus 2 into 2, your perimeter works out to be 11.5 meter. So, A1 is 15 meter square, P1 is 11.5 meter square. Find the hydraulic mean radius. What is hydraulic mean radius? It is a ratio of weighted area to the weighted perimeter. So, in this case, R1 is equal to a1 divided by P1. A1 is 15 meter square and P1 is 11.5. Therefore, hydraulic mean radius R1 works out to be 1.3 meter. Now, once you find the value of R, R, R1, find the value of Q. Therefore, Q is equal to, so what is A? Weighted area is 15 meter square. Therefore, it is 15 divided by the value of N is 0 0.02 given in the problem. Therefore, 15 divided by 0 0.02 into the bed slope is 1 in 3000 given in the problem, 1 in 3000 rise to half into, 
So R raised to two thirds, R is 1.3 raised to two thirds. If you simplify this, you are going to get the value of Q is equal to 16.35 meter cube per second. The discharge flowing in the channel is 16.35 meter cube per second. Now, once you find the value of discharge, now consider the GVF equation, the dynamic equation for gradually varied flow. We derived this equation, so that is dy by dx is equal to S0 minus SF divided by 1 minus Q square T divided by GA cube. This is the equation which we derived at the beginning of this GVF. Now I am going to make use of this equation. Now in this case, S0 is the bed slope, 1 in 3000 given in the problem. So what is SF? SF is the energy slope. You don't know the value of SF. But kindly recall, before deriving this dynamic equation, we made some assumptions. What are the assumptions we made? So one of the assumptions we made was, so to find the energy slope, we make use of uniform flow formula such as Manning's formula and Chase's formula. What do you mean by that? So if you want to find the value of SF, you either you use Chase's formula or Manning's formula. In this case, since Manning's roughness coefficient is given, uh, we will make use of Manning's formula rather than Chase's formula. Now, before proceeding that, move to section 2.2. So where y2 is 2 plus 0 0.75, that is equal to 2.75 meter. Now, corresponding to this new depth, y2 is equal to 2.75, find the weighted area and the weighted perimeter. So, weighted area A2 is equal to B into Y2, B is 7.5 into 2.75. Therefore, weighted area A2 works out to be 20.63 meters square. Similarly, find the value of P2. So, P2 is 7.5 plus 2Y2, 7.5 plus 2 into 2.75, that works out to be 13 meter. Corresponding to this A2, P2, find the value of R2. So, R2 is equal to A2 divided by P2. Therefore, 20.63 divided by 13, that works out to be 1.59 meter. So, with that, let us find the energy slope. As I said earlier, we make use of this Manning's formula. V is equal to 1 over N, S to the power of half, R to the power of 2 thirds. So, in this case, my S is nothing but SF. Therefore, the unknown is SF. SF is equal to N square into V square divided by R raised to 4 by 3. Okay. So, don't be, don't be confused from where I brought this equation. So, this equation is V is equal to 1 over N S to the power of half R to the power of 2 thirds. In the next step, I am going to write V is equal to 1 over N SF raised to half R raised to 2 thirds. So, the unknown is SF. Therefore, SF is equal to N square into V square divided by R raised to 4 divided by 3. So, SF is equal to, so what is N? N is 0 0.2 given in the problem. So, N square 1.02 square into, so V square, again use the Manning's formula, 1 over N, 1 over 0 0.02 into the bed slope, 1 in 3000 given in the problem, into R, the value of R which you worked out at section 1, that is 1.30 raised to 2 thirds. So, whole thing divided by, whole thing divided by this R, that is, so 1.3 raised to 4 by 3. So, if you simplify this, you are going to get the value of SF. SF is equal to 1.359 into 10 power minus 4. Now, you have the value of S0, you have the value of SF. Okay. Now, the only thing you need to be careful here is, so when you find calculating the value of SF, you need to substitute the value of R, which you calculated at section 1. This is one thing you need to keep it in mind. Okay. Whatever the value of 
R1, you calculate it. Substitute the value of R1 here and find the value of SF. Now you have a S0, you have a value of SF. Let us proceed further. Now, the dy by dx is equal to, look at the numerator, you know the value of S0 given in the problem. Just now you calculate the value of SF. Okay? Look at the denominator. 1 minus q square t divided by g a cube. Okay? Now, simplify this q square t divided by g a cube. It's a rectangular channel. Your base width is equal to top width. What is base width? Base width is 7.5 7 meter. Therefore, top width is also equal to 7.5 meter. Now, you calculate the value of Q. So, how much is Q? So, Q works out to be 16.35. So, Q square is, there is a typo here, kindly correct this. So, 16.352 square into 7.5. So, whole thing divided by 9.81 into the weighted area corresponding, corresponding to the wave. That works out to be 20.625 cube. So, if you simplify this, it works out to be 0 0.0233. Okay. So, here I am very clear. The area which I am going to talk about here is the area of the flow section or wetted area at where. This A2. So, here otherwise to get a clarity, substitute this uh, in place of A as A2. So, A2 is 20.625 cube. Now, you have all the values. Substitute the values. 1 over 3000 minus ESF. That is 1.359 into 10 power minus 4. 1 minus q square t divided by ga cube. So, that works out to be 0 0.0233. So, on simplification, you are going to get this dy by dx. What is dy by dx? dy by dx is the water surface slope with respect to the channel bottom. I repeat, dy by dx is the water surface slope with respect to channel bottom. Okay. Now, that works out to be 2.021 into 10, 10 power minus 4. But this is not the end of it. You are asked to find the water surface slope with respect to horizontal. So, what is that equation? The equation is given by SW is equal to SH minus dy by dx. So, what is horizontal slope? Horizontal slope is given by 3.333 minus so, dy by dx, which you calculated just now, is 2.021 into 10 power minus 4. Okay. So, therefore, you are going to get this SH. SH works out to be 1.312 into 10 power minus 4. Kindly recall, when we derived an equation for this water surface slope with respect to horizontal, I said water surface slope with respect to bottom slope is not equal to water slope, water surface slope with respect to horizontal. So, look at this, this dy by dx water surface slope with respect to the bottom slope, it is 2.02 into 10 power minus 4, whereas the water surface slope with respect to horizontal, it works out to be 1.31 into 10 power minus 4. So, this is how you are going to use the equation which we uh, derived at the beginning of this uh, section. Okay. Now, let us go one step further. If you take out previous question papers, whether it is autonomous uh, system or whether it is uh, university question papers, most of the time you will see this type of problem. The problem goes like this. A rectangular channel 10 meter wide having a bed slope of 0 0.0001 carries a discharge of 30 meter cube per second. At a particular section, the depth is 1.6 meter. If the depth at another section is 2 meter, decide the type of channel and zone of flow. Take n is equal to 0 0.015. 
in the earlier problem we determine the water surface slope with respect to horizontal but in this problem we are going to classify what type of water surface profile it is first case second case in what zone whether the water surface is in zone 1 or in zone 2 or zone 3 okay let us see how to solve the problem so assuming the flow is normal and the depth of flow is yn then a is equal to b into yn this is at section 1 1 the procedure is almost same as the first problem okay at section 1 far away from the obstruction the normal depth is given by yn corresponding to this the wetted area a1 is given by b into y1 the base width of the rectangular channel is 10 meter therefore a1 is equal to 10 y n now then p1 is equal to 10 plus 2 y n 10 plus 2 y n is the perimeter at this section 1 1 corresponding to this a1 and p1 r1 the hydraulic mean radius becomes so that is a1 by p1 that is equal to 10 y n divided by 10 plus 2 y n okay call this as equation number one now the velocity through the channel is given by q is equal to a into v i want the value of v so v is equal to q divided by a so what is q q is given in the problem that is 30 meter cube per second now weighted area a1 is 10 y n therefore this velocity in terms of this y n that becomes v is equal to 3 divided by y n call this as equation number 2 now consider manning's formula what is manning's formula v is equal to 1 over n s to the power of half r to the power of two thirds right now i am talking about section 1 1 therefore what is the value of v so v is equal to 3 divided by y n which we determined just now in place of v you substitute this 3 by y n that is equal to the value of n given in the problem is 0 0.015 on the right hand side so 1 over 0 0.015 into the bed slope is 0 0.301 raised to half into R1. So R1 is 10 y n divided by 10 plus 2 y n whole thing raised to two thirds. Now if you look at this equation, so in this equation the only unknown is y n. Now solve this equation for y n by trial and error you are going to get the value of y n equal to 2.98 meter. The question is, sir, why do I need this y n? At the beginning of this solution or at the beginning of this problem, I said, so in this case, you need to classify the type of slope, water surface slope. Kindly recall, we studied about mild slope, critical slope, horizontal slope, uh, adverse slope and steep slope. Now, for each slope, there are different characteristics. For example, if we talk about mild slope, in case of mild slope, my critical uh, depth is less than the normal depth. Kindly recall what we did. So, uh, we wrote the bed slope, then we wrote two lines, one with respect to the critical depth, the other with respect to the normal depth. Now, you have three lines with respect to these three lines we classified into zone one zone two and zone three so to classify the type of slope we need this value of yn and yc that is the reason i found out this value of yn so you have a value of yn so next thing is you need to find the value of yc so since it is a rectangular channel the critical depth is given by q square divided by g raised to one third q 
small q square divided by g raised to one third. What is small q? It is discharge per unit width. So in this case, you know the value of discharge, you know the bed width. Therefore, small q is equal to capital Q divided by B that is equal to 30 divided by 10 that is equal to 3 meter square per second. Therefore, YC is equal to Q square divided by G raised to one third. So in place of small Q, I substitute the value of 3. Therefore, it is 3 into 3, 9 divided by 9.81 whole thing raised to one third. So if you simplify this, the value of YC works out to be 0.97 meter. So YN is 0.98 and YC is 0.97. With these two values, let us write the figure. Look at this. This is the bed slope. Now YC is 0.97 and YN is 0.98. So this is the critical depth line. This is the normal depth line. Now above this normal depth line, you have zone 1. Between this normal depth line and CDL, you have this zone 2 and below this CDL, you have this zone 3. Again, there is a typo, kindly correct this. This is zone 3, zone 1, zone 2, zone 3. Now, we know that for a mild slope channel, the critical depth is less than the normal depth. I, I repeat, for a mild slope channel, the critical depth is less than the normal depth. So in this case, the normal depth is 2.98 meter and the critical depth is 0.97 meter. Therefore, the water profile is a mild slope channel. The water profile is mild slope. So first part of the problem is over. Now second part. So in which zone the water surface profile lies? Okay. Now the depth of flow is at section 1, it is 1.6 meter. At section 2, it is 2 meter. I repeat, at section 1, it is 1.6. At section 2, it is 2 meter. Now, compare these values with the normal depth and the critical depth. Normal depth is 2.98 and the critical depth is 0.97. And this 1.6 and 2 meters is above this critical depth. And these two values are less than the normal depth. So what is the conclusion you are going to draw? The conclusion I am going to draw is, so this water profile lies in zone 2. This water profile lies in zone 2. So in some cases, you are asked to draw a typical water surface profile. So in this case, I didn't ask you to draw that. But in some cases, they will ask you to draw a typical water surface profile. Kindly recall, in the last class, I gave a ready-made, uh, you know, reckoner or a table uh, for different water surface profiles, how the profile look like. Now in this case, look at how the M2 water profile look like and that you need to write in this zone. So this is about uh, finding the water surface slope and finding the zone.